Today I want to show you quickly cost management in Azure. Why? Because in the survey we did a few weeks ago, that was one of the top of mind mentioned and there is a lot of interest specifically during the pandemic where cloud consumption grew on how to manage cost. So let's dive right into it. We're here in the Azure portal under cost management. You can search for it if you don't find it right away. And this is the overview that shows you kind of like how to set up your account, report and analyze trends, control and optimize costs, has some readiness documentation all nicely linked. But in today's demo, we go straight into the cost analysis. A cost analysis gives you basically one dashboard that shows you all the cloud cost on a given scope. So here it's the Condoso demo environment that we're looking at across all subscriptions. It shows me the actual cost and it gives me a forecast. You also see it has a granularity level where it currently shows cost accumulated. At the bottom you have a few pie charts that here by service name. So you see virtual machines is a big eater. You see the locations where those services are deployed and consumed and there is an enrollment name and if you have given good name that would allow you for example to identify HR or however you set that up originally when you set up Azure. Now it's super easy you can customize this view you see here a line which is basically the monthly budget um, here you see the accumulated costs all up you see how much of it is average and then your monthly budget that you set yourself. Currently, we're just looking at February. We could, for example, say, show me the past three months. So I see over the holidays and now basically kind of like the trend where we're going. Now, if you want to drill down, you could, for example, say, OK, but now you know what? Give me here. That's the biggest piece of the pie. Give me virtual machines. And then you would see virtual machines specifically how that curve looks. But you might think, hey, that's not as valuable. I want to know what kind of virtual machines. So you could go here by grouping by and ask for the subcategory name, which would now show you basically each of the machines. So you see here the blue is those D V series. And then when you look here over time, that's the one that grew by far the most. You could also say, you know what? show me like a stacked view as an example and here don't show me accumulated show me like daily so that i see exactly what grew over the time and then next for example here we see gray the gray bars got much higher kind of like jumped off so there is a lot of different ways on how you can investigate and figure out exactly where this cost comes from who is the application owner etc you also have the possibility to set alerts to let teams know hey on your current spending or consumption you're gonna go way over your budget so you might want to do something there's like methods of right sizing uh, servers or shutdown servers etc etc whatever that is but here is where you would set the alerts that you want that a team isn't alerted where you could send an email or show pop-up you can also set and manage budgets for different resources, times, and teams. That's all done in here. You saw that in the cost analysis where I showed you with the dotted line, that is basically the budget line. Now, if you don't have much time because you know you're busy, whatever that is, uh, just not time to still deep into it and see, okay, what is this VM here and there? There is this thing called the advisor recommendation. So if you have absolutely no time to learn the skills of cost management at this point, which I do believe you'll have to do, but if you can't do it today or this week or this month, go to the advisor recommendations and here, Azure will already tell you, for example, you have here eight virtual machines that you could right size or shut down because they're underutilized. It shows you, for example, SQL Pass DB. Um, you have basically potentials at yearly savings right there. So if you just would follow these recommendations right here, you would save 12,535 as a potential for your annual savings. And if you click here, it will show you even the types um, of machines, what the utilization is and why the system thinks it's underutilized and you could right size it. So again, no time, just go straight into here. Another key takeaway here is you can actually use the same management tool to also import the cost information from, for example, Amazon, AWS to analyze it all together. So if you have like a central cloud team or a cloud uh, 
center of excellence or you have a financial team that helps you with the cloud adoption to give them access over this that they can monitor it and drive it alert the teams where necessary so they can take the steps the one thing that completely changes the game compared to your on-premises is that from here a perspective if you look at the cost analysis is all up in the accumulated or the daily view is you have a granelle like a transparency into the cost that you just simply don't have on premises on premises often you have costs based on positions like say software or hardware costs but you don't exactly know how much you contribute this application on let's say networking traffic or this application on electricity or facility management and because here you have it as a service all these costs are baked in so there is not where you have to look what's let's say the payroll for the facility management that runs around in my data centers to change light bulbs and to take care of the facility you can basically drill in and say okay this server or this workload this team is spending that much money on their infrastructure and i need help them to reduce it and believe me the savings potential on underutilized vms is tremendous it's huge is one of the first things I often check with customers when we talk about it. Huge savings potential, so check it out. And if you have no time, go here. Otherwise, go through the training steps I showed. You can also export it all. And if you're a Excel tiger, you can do whatever you want with it in Excel. I hope you liked this vlog. If so, please make sure you subscribe, click on the little bell so you get notified if I publish a new video. Share this video with your colleagues if it's helpful to them. And please leave comments. Let me know if you want an in-depth view of cost management or also learn how it looks like to manage AWS costs in it. Happy to do an episode about this. Or otherwise, if there is another topic you would like me to spend time on, please leave it in the comments. And with that, I wish you a great day and the Dave Kurt out.